Hello and welcome to Jurassic Reviews. For this video I'll be giving you guys a tour of my Jurassic Park collection. I had previously done a video on my Godzilla collection as well, so be sure to check that out. Most of my collections of both Jurassic Park and Godzilla are located in the same place, the unfinished side of my basement, where I actually have room for it. I try to keep both collections separated, and they are for the most part. I've been collecting Jurassic Park stuff for over 25 years, and many of these toys are from my childhood. I don't keep anything really in any order, and sorry if the lighting is not the best. First, let's start outside my collection room and on the stairs heading down to the basement. Here you will find a few mugs and a cool Jurassic Park ornament that plays the Jurassic Park theme. Now let's move to the bulk of my collection. It's all displayed on a few different shelves, including some plastic ones that I will eventually get rid of. All of this is due for a reorganization. If I do another one of these collection videos next year, it'll hopefully be a lot different. First, let's start on this wall that contains a pegboard. This part of my collection often causes friends that I have over to say it feels like they're in a toy aisle at Walmart. Most of the shelf is filled with Kenner figures, but there are a few Hasbro dinosaurs as well, be it from the Jurassic Park lines or the dinosaur lines. A few notable things include the Velociraptor with green eyes, which was a rare variant from the standard Lost World one. I also have a box Chaos Effect Raptor Alpha, one of my favorite figures and an increasingly rare one to have unopened. I also have the Jurassic Park 3 2-pack. There are a few different varieties of these released, and it's a pretty unique set. I don't see it talked about a whole lot, and I think it's pretty uncommon. Next shelf up is more Kenner and older Hasbro stuff. Among these are also my movie ticket stubs, and the rare Kenner Series 2 Gallimimus and Baryonyx. The Gallimimus I found at a flea market for $2, and the Baryonyx was $7. On this shelf you'll also see the 2009 Bull T-Rex, and the statue that came with the Jurassic Park Blu-ray collector set. Another shelf up is some more Kenner stuff, along with my VHS copy of Jurassic Park and the DVD copy of The Lost World and Jurassic Park. My brother and I watched that VHS tape hundreds of times, along with the behind the scenes tape it came with. On the shelf is also a Lost World T-Rex plush toy, which I can't really remember where I got it from, but it's pretty cool. Moving over to the four long shelves along the wall, we'll start first with the top row. On the very end there are a few Hasbro Jurassic World things a boxed Indominus Rex, and the hybrid Indominus Rex, a figure that is quite rare nowadays. I think it had to do with the time period it was released. I think Mattel acquired the Jurassic World license right after the release of this line. The rest of the shelf has some older things, like the Dilophosaurus from the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs line, and a few loose Kenner figures. There's also two 2013 Toys R Us exclusive figures, the Pachyrhinosaurus and the Allosaurus. These figures gave me a bit of false hope for what was to come with the future Jurassic World line as I think these figures were the best things Hasbro made. I actually have two Allosaurus figures, one was a gift from my grandma. And then there's a Jurassic World Lego set, along with the box Lost World Pachycephalosaurus. Next shelf down there's a ton of Kenner Jurassic Park stuff, including four Lost World Bull T-Rexes in a row. Don't ask me why I have so many of these, I rarely buy more than one of each figure these days. These were all acquired over 10 years ago. This is a really T-Rex dominated shelf, where you can see the Chaos Effect Omega T-Rex right in the middle, and two Lost World Thrasher T-Rexes, and two Series 1 T-Rexes. That Ford Explorer is actually a cutout from the back of the 2009 Bull T-Rex box. Speaking of that 2009 Bull T-Rex, there's a loose one right at the end of the shelf. The rest of the shelf has smaller Kenner figures, and hatchlings from various lines. There's also mini dinosaurs that I think were mostly from Jurassic World. Moving one more shelf down, there's two box 2009 Bull T-Rexes, along with a row of loose Kenner figures. Right in the middle is a box Jurassic Park animatronic Spinosaurus, and this one in particular has the rare white painted teeth. The majority of them had this sort of gold color going on. Next to that is a Demon Carnotaurus, and a box Lost World Stegosaurus. Then there's two Chaos Effect Thrasher T-Rexes, a few smaller Kenner Dinosaurs, two Jurassic Park 3 T-Rexes, and a loose animatronic Spinosaurus with the more common teeth I was just talking about. This is also where a large chunk of my open Kenner Velociraptors are. On the bottom shelf there is a ton of loose figures, mostly Kenner stuff along with a few Hasbro things. 
There's also the Series 2 Capture Cruiser that I found at a garage sale for $2 when I was younger. There's a few other non-toy things there too, like the Mondo Jurassic Park soundtrack on vinyl. There's the Xbox copy of Operation Genesis, and a few folders and notebooks released for the first Jurassic Park film. Moving on, near the floor there is another pegboard. I like to call this display the Wall of Shame, as it's filled with Hasbro Jurassic World figures. It's kept pretty much out of sight, as they should be. To the left of the larger shelves is another pegboard wall, and a small shelf. The small shelf has a mix of a bunch of different things, including the Jurassic World LEGO Indominus breakout set, a Gallimimus, and a few Jurassic World things. There's also more Hasbro stuff on the two lower shelves, and a Series 2 Utah Raptor. On the pegboard, it's a bunch of Kenner things. On the top row is one of the best deals I ever got. Pretty much all of these box Kenner Jurassic Park humans were in the same lot on eBay, and only cost me $40. The rest is just a mix of different Kenner lines, with one of my favorites on here being the unopened Coelophysis from the first series. Moving on, now we have three different plastic shelves. The first shelf has more Hasbro stuff, with a few Kenner things, and a few stuffed animals. A shelf lower has some RC cars, LEGO Jurassic World sets, and some different figures, including the Series 2 Quetzalcoatlus. There's also these pins by Mondo, and Collector's Edition Blu-ray discs. Another shelf lower, there's a Jurassic World Blu-ray gift set, a boxed RC car, and that Hasbro playset. On the lowest shelf, there's another Hasbro Jurassic World figure, and a Jurassic Park sleeping bag. Moving one shelf over, we start to get into Mattel Jurassic World figures. And the same applies to the shelf next to it. I'm just going to go over these pretty quick. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of them. But there's too many things here to really go through one at a time. There are a few favorite things I'll mention, like the Mosasaurus, and now the pretty rare Jurassic Park Jeep. On the last shelf, there's also some box Legacy Collection Spinosaurus figures. There are two more of these plastic shelves, each with more Mattel figures. The top shelf for the first one is pretty much all Mattel figures, including the Carnotaurus and the Stegosaurus. The second shelf has a variety of things, like the Funko figures and a few Kenner things mixed in with Mattel stuff. There's also a 25th anniversary calendar. One shelf lower is all box Mattel figures. The same can pretty much be said for the bottom shelf. Though there is a copy of Jurassic Park for Sega Genesis, and the box for the Chronicle Collectibles Breakout T-Rex, a statue which we'll see here shortly. On to the next shelf, there's some cups that I got at the movie theater for Jurassic World, some Kenner figures, and a complete command compound, just without the fences with it. Moving down, this shelf has some cool things, like these Jurassic Park erasers and a wallet. There's a copy of Warpath Jurassic Park for PlayStation, and an Operation Genesis for PC. One of my favorite Jurassic Park games. There's also a few buttons, and the Lost World Burger King Cup. Shelf lower, there's the soundtracks for the first four films, and some diecast Jurassic Park Jeeps, and my PlayStation copy of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis.
On the lowest shelf, there's a few different things, like the Dinosaur Field Guide books, a boxed Hasbro and Dominus Rex, and a few video games, like the Xbox copy of Telltale's Jurassic Park The Game. Now we are going to move on to one of the larger shelves. On the top of the shelf, there's some box Mattel figures and a really cool popcorn tin that I got in an AMC theater for Jurassic World Dominion. There's also two super colossal figures. Moving a shelf down, this is probably one of my favorite shelves in the collection. There's the Amber Collection Dilophosaurus, Nedry, and Hammond. There's the Evil Raiders Dr. Snare, which is graded, and right in the middle is the Chronicle Collectibles Breakout T-Rex. This was my first higher-end statue, something that I got even before I started collecting things like the X-Plus Godzilla figures. Chronicle no longer exists, but I like what they released, though I know there was a lot of complaints about the paint jobs on some of their stuff. To the right of the Breakout Rex is the San Diego Comic-Con Dennis Nedry, and a Kenner Thrasher T-Rex and Mattel Thrash and Throw T-Rex, along with a few smaller Mattel figures. The next shelf has some pretty valuable things, like the box Kenner Thrasher T-Rex. There's also a few Jurassic Park Dinosaur figures boxed, including the T-Rex and Stegosaurus. Both pretty valuable figures. Also on the shelf is a guide to Operation Genesis, the Velociraptor Resonating Chamber from Jurassic Park 3 made by Chronicle, and an open Legacy Collection Spinosaurus. The next shelf has a bunch of different things, including stuff from Kenner, Mattel, and Hasbro. There's also a box Mattel Brachiosaurus. The bottom shelf is mostly a storage shelf for Mattel figures. There's also a small plastic shelf next to this one, where on the top you can see another command compound. This shelf is loaded with different merchandise from all the movies. There's some unusual things on here, like some snacks from the first movie, like the dinosaur cookies, which I would not advise eating. Now we're going to move across the room to another shelf that's closer to my Godzilla stuff. This shelf has some of the most valuable things in my collection. The top has the Mattel Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus, along with the Mondo Jurassic Park puzzle. There's also a few box Mattel figures. The next shelf has a box Bull T-Rex from The Lost World, and the Jurassic Park Series 1 Red Rex. There's also a graded Series 2 Skinner figure, and some various other figures and vehicles, including the new Hammond Collection T-Rex that I just did a video on. Moving one shelf lower is where you'll see the crown jewel of my collection, a box series 2 Demon Carnotaurus, one of the rarest Jurassic Park figures. There is also some more open figures and the awesome Chronicle Collectibles Crash McCurry Baby Velociraptors. The next couple shelves are basically storage shelves, with a ton of box Mattel figures. There is one final shelf that has more storage. Mostly with Mattel figures, but also random things like the Jurassic World cookbook. I'm going to do some rearranging here in the near future, as well as purchasing new larger shelves to replace the plastic ones. 
so these should all be on display at some point. The final things are some leftover stuff. One is the Chronicle Collectibles Baby Blue that is mixed in with my Godzilla things, as it's too large to have anywhere else. There is also this giant Jurassic World Blue stuffed animal. And I have the new Jurassic Park T-Rex Breakout set, and a Funko game that my friend got me for my birthday. So that's pretty much everything. Sorry if I glossed over a lot of it. There's just so much stuff and I didn't want this video to go on forever. And if there's anything specific you want me to talk about, mention in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Also, let me know what you think is the coolest thing in my collection. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.